What's up YouTube, it's the Chosen Aquatics and we're back with another video and as you guys can tell we are here in the fish room. So we're going to talk about what's been going on in the fish room this week. Got some uh, good news, got some bad news as always. So we'll start off, let's see here with the 75 gallon plenty community tank. All is well, everybody is doing pretty good. Um, added two new Siamese algae eaters to this tank and uh, they're working on the little bit of black beard algae for me trying to get it back under control uh, there's one of them there picking away at it on that decor um, removed about 90 percent of the floaters from this aquarium uh, kind of time for a change and just the overall current of the filtration was pushing the floaters pretty excessively and then they were coming down here and they were getting stuck to this large sponge filter here so time for a little bit of a change so we got them out of there got it looking pretty good how we like it that sword plant is absolutely monstrous um but as you guys can see all the fish in here are doing well nice colored up healthy and as you will know that's all we strive for here at the chosen aquatics so the 75 gallon planted tank is doing pretty good come over here to the little five gallon project that we set up this is going to house it's going to be another shrimp tank and it's kind of been up and running cycling for a few weeks so probably in the next week or so we'll go get some shrimp to put in here uh, maybe some blue shrimp not exactly sure exactly what we're going to put in here but this tank should turn out to be a pretty cool tank once it's all said and done and i believe we're just about ready to add some little creatures 65 still no progress on the 65 and truthfully guys we may end up getting rid of this aquarium um not because we don't want it i just cannot nail down exactly what i want to do and as you know on an aquarium that size the startup can be quite pricey and uh just want to do it do it right know it's going to be something i'm going to enjoy so honestly this is still up in the air. We may end up getting rid of this tank, may not. You know, as you guys know, we already have plenty of tanks to take care of, but that's still kind of up in the air. So we move over to the fish rack. For the people that are new here and never seen this before, this is a custom built rack in our fish room that houses nine different aquariums. We have three 20 longs and six 10 gallon tanks. So up here in this top right corner is where we have the um, cherry barbs and the uh, quarries and the one epistogramma that had a pair originally that for some reason we ended up losing its pair. But this tank is chilling. Also, you'll notice that we removed a lot of the floaters from the smaller tanks as well. Over here in this 20 long, we have the Pistogramma pair, the Lemon Tetras, and the Congo Tetras, and there also is some Corys in here, and everyone in here is also doing pretty good, nice and colored up, looking beautiful. Can't wait till these Congos start to mature some more and get that long, beautiful fins that they have. Um, the Pistogrammas being kind of shy today for whatever reason, but it is what it is these floaters here these roots are starting to get a little out of hand this thing is kind of jungle fying itself so we're going to have to get in there and get that aquarium straightened up and looking a little bit better over here in the 10 gallon with the small blue eyed rainbow fish they're starting to put some size on see if we can get a good look of one on camera never really got a good look at these guys for you guys um the camera doesn't do them any justice. They're absolutely beautiful fish and they are finally starting to mature some. So they have long, beautiful fins and beautiful colorations once they fully mature as well. And then we have the um, bumblebee gobies. These guys are doing really, really good. There's a few of them in here. And we also have some small quarries in here as well. And we drop down to the tank below them this is the pea puffer tank i think we've lost a few pea puffers for whatever reason um they're just kind of really hard to keep up with 
and get all in your line of sight at once. Everyone in here seems to be doing fine as well. I do need to work on a little bit of this vegetation in here, a lot of overgrowth and a lot of floaters and that kind of blocks the flow from the sponge filter and we kind of get that little uh, biofilm stagnation over here on this end of the tank so simply need to get in there and get some plants removed and this 20 guy long is where we have the two rainbow fish and we have the tiger barbs which are gorgeous some of my favorite fish out there and we also have some quarries in here um, recurring theme for the new people here on the channel maybe this is the first video of ours that you've seen all of our freshwater systems are dirted and planted aquariums so very we tried to set these up on the natural side of things and uh, tried to create ecosystems within these aquariums so no sterile environments here at the chosen aquatics over here is where we have the guppy tank this is where we will get to our first um stage of bad news as you can see we got a new batch of fry up in here so i believe she just dropped those fry but those will be the last fry she drops with her once partner the male in this aquarium for whatever reason passed away um guys if you're seeing this video maybe you've had an aquarium where your fish just randomly pass away and you think you've done something wrong I am here to tell you that you did nothing wrong. Uh, sometimes it simply just happens. The water will, 90% of the time, I don't know your situation, but every time I've had it happen, the water is always tested out fine. Nothing wrong with the water. And one thing I notice, if I have a fish die in one of my aquariums, the first thing that comes to mind is all these systems are the same exact water. So if it has something to do with my water conditions, or it has something to do with what I'm doing wrong as far as the water that I add to these aquariums, all of these fish would be sick. I would be losing a lot of fish at once. But that's not the case. So I've come to the conclusion simply sometimes fish get sick and they pass away and there's really nothing you can do about it. But a ton of fry in here, nonetheless, a bunch of guppies, a bunch. And that will bring me down to the 20 gallon long here. Glass needs to be scrubbed, but you guys know I keep it real with you. No sense in prettying everything up before I get it on camera. There is uh, probably about 10 guppy fry in here as well that are starting to put some size on themselves that I removed from the guppy tank. Got put down here and uh, they're doing pretty good. Went and got some plants, got this tank planted. And as you can see, the African sickly fry are gone on to their new forever homes. So we will keep you guys updated on this tank, especially when these guys get a little bit bigger. we got a little bit more to talk about, but they are going to be some beautiful, beautiful guppies. And then over here, everybody knows Fred by now. This is the one and only beta fish in the chosen aquatics household and he is also fun fact the longest living beta fish in the chosen aquatics household so i've had terrible luck keeping these fish in the past and for whatever reason fred has decided he's going to stick it out with us and live for as long as he can live so we hope he continues to stay healthy and happy and then for the last tank on the fish rack we have the shrimp tank with the, you know, the three little inler guppies. But this tank is absolutely slam packed of shrimp. The longer you look, the more you will see. They are literally everywhere. And feeding time in this aquarium, they show their numbers. Absolutely, probably hundreds of shrimp in this aquarium. So very, very cool. Very, very cool tank. Very jungle fried tank and one of my favorites. And now I'm going to go grab the lens and we'll take a look at the brand new 20 gallon reef tank. All right guys, we got the lens on so now we can take a closer look at the new 20 gallon reef tank with the two Wyoming white clownfish. 
as you guys will know if you've been around the channel for a while this tank is fairly new so it's still pretty young of a system everything's still settling in and trying to mature so the overall ecosystem inside of this aquarium is very young but we do have a lot of cycled media in here from our established reef tank so i don't have any worries that this tank is not going to mature and do well but it is going to take some time so it's not much to look at right now but i believe it will be beautiful we have nothing but soft coral in here so we have some pulse and xenia we have the leather there and then we have the toadstool up top here that is all kind of mad because one of the hermit crabs keeps crawling up its stalk so I've had to shoo him away a few times and I don't know if you guys can get a good look at it but we also have some GSP glued to the back glass which for those that don't know that is green star polyps and it's an encrusting coral so hopefully before long it will grow up that back sheet of glass and we'll have a nice wavy green star polyp colony on the back of the tank. The Wyoming whites are doing very very good Today is feeding day, so I believe they think that I have food. Just a few more minutes, guys, and we'll get you fed up. So what I would like to ask you guys to do so far is hit the comments. Let us know about the tanks that you've seen so far, and we would love to hear your feedback. So what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about the big bad news of today's video. The big bad news of today's video is when we walk out here to start the Oscars Aquarium with the riverbank, the planted hang on the back filters, the monstera, the peace lilies, the pothos. And if you remember the last video, we told you that Start was not doing too well. We were concerned with his health. And since then, we have lost Start the Oscars. He passed away for an unknown reason, same as the guppy in the other aquarium. Uh, we tested all the water out when we found Stark in the shape that he was in right before he passed away, and it tested out absolutely beautifully. So we have no idea what caused Stark to end up getting sick, but he did, and he is no longer with us. So very bad news. I was very excited about Stark. The Oscar fish is a fish that I've wanted to keep for a very long time, but we ended up losing it. So the good thing that's coming for, out of this is this 75 gallon is going to go through yet another transformation. As you guys remember, this was the 75 gallon peacock tank. We got rid of the African cichlids. We dirted the bottom of it. Um, we rescaped it, gave it a completely different new look, added all the plants as they were very, very young and have grown out nicely since. And this was Stark's home. But now what we're going to do is we're going to change the scape. The big piece of driftwood in the center will be staying. Probably some more driftwood, some different rocks. And we are going to heavily plant this aquarium and turn it into another 75-gallon planted community tank. So, just wanted to let you guys know, yes, we did end up losing Stark, but something beautiful will end up coming from his tank, and we are very, very much looking forward to it, and hopefully you guys are as well. So, go ahead and start dropping in the comments, rest in peace, Stark, and let us know what you would like to see in the new 75-gallon planted community tank. So I'm going to grab the lens one more time. We're going to take a look at my pride and joy. Then we'll head back to the fish room and end this video out. So here we are, guys. Starting to get this tank on camera a lot more. This is my pride and joy, the 40-gallon reef tank. And I'm very happy to say that everyone in here, fish and coral included, is still doing very, very good. This is by far my most established aquarium in the house. This tank has been up and running for a very long time. Well, not necessarily the 40 gallon itself, but everything in here was in two different 20 gallon tanks before they were merged into the 40 gallon. So all this stuff has been 
alive and thriving for just about two years now. It's a very established tank. Everyone very happy and healthy. This is my little slice of the ocean for the people that have not seen this aquarium before. And look guys, the Duncan happens to be open on this video. He picks and chooses when he's going to get mad and not come out, but he is open today. Uh, for the people that are new, we have two pajama cardinals in here. We have a six-line wrasse. We have a golden head goby. And we also have the two clowns, which are the oldest inhabitants of this aquarium. And um, this tank is pretty much good to go as far as very minimal maintenance. This tank does not take me doing anything to it. It is very much established, very much a full-blown operational, self-sustainable ecosystem inside of this aquarium. My little slice of the ocean, that's why it's showcased in the living room of our home. And I absolutely love this tank. So guys, let us know in the comments what you think about the 40-gallon reef tank. We would absolutely love to hear your feedback. All right, guys, we made it back to the fish room slash collection room. And hopefully you guys enjoyed yet another Chosen Aquatics video. Hopefully I did a good job of updating you on everything we had going on here at the Chosen Aquatics aquarium-wise, good and bad. Um, hopefully you guys seen something within the fish room or maybe one of the aquariums that are throughout the house that inspired you to want to have an aquarium of your own because as I was inspired by a fish content creator, I would love to inspire any of you guys to go out, grab an aquarium, and join this amazing hobby. But nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and close this video out here. We are the Chosen Aquatics, and we hope we get to see you guys in the next one.